aluminum pump jack system is a portable scaffolding system providing versatility for projects, saving you both time and money. Our pump jack system is an ideal tool for siding, painting, insulation, building, and home repair. Pump jack system components. Pump jack, workbench, aluminum poles available in lengths of 24, 12, and 6 feet, pole insert connector, full swivel brace available in a standard 32 inch size, as well as short 16 inch and extra long 48 inch sizes, rubber pole foot, pole anchor, aluminum stage planks available with standard handles or connectable style, safety net, safety guardrails. Assembly. The pump jack system must be assembled at ground level prior to operation. Begin by positioning the aluminum stage plank against the wall. Then position the aluminum poles in alignment with the planks. Assemble the pump jack together with the workbench. The pump jack and workbench assembly should then be installed onto the bottom of the pole after removing the rubber pole foot. Make sure the rubber pad of the pole is facing the back of the pump jack where the roller and brake can make contact. Poles are joined together using a pole insert connector, allowing for a scaffold system that can reach a working height of 12 feet, 18 feet, 24 feet, 30 feet, 36 feet, 42 feet, or a maximum of 48 feet. The poles can be fitted with two types of bases to accommodate different surfaces. The rubber pole foot is for flat and hard surfaces. The pole anchors offer greater stability on soft or uneven terrain, such as ground softened by rainfall. Erect the pole by either swinging the pole upwards or by use of a rope to hoist the pole. Hoisting is required, especially when the pole combination is higher than 24 feet using pole extensions and insert connectors. Braces must be secured to the pole and fastened to the structure of the building with four brace screws per brace. Our braces feature a full swivel head to cover most roof pitches. The swivel mounting plates located at the ends of the brace arms rotate to accommodate installation conditions and to facilitate installing poles equally distant from the walls to be worked upon. Braces are installed in one of two ways. The brace can be attached to the pole prior to erecting the pole to a plumb position and then fastening the brace with the brace screws. Alternatively, the brace can also be fastened to the wall first and then erecting the poles to secure with it. One brace is required for up to 24 feet of pole. Above 24 feet in height, intermediate braces are required with a maximum of 16 feet vertical spacing between braces. Secure planks to pump jack and workbench with attached chains going through the rungs. When using planks on a three pole setup, the joint must be secured in place directly over the pump jack and workbench using the attached chains. Our connectable planks offer greater safety when used on a three-pole setup. Install the optional safety net and or safety guardrail system. Safety nets are used for catching falling tools and material. Guardrails are available for the ends of the plank and the length of the plank. To raise the pump jack system, place your foot in the stirrup of the pump jack and engage slowly until you are raised approximately one foot. Repeat this procedure with the other pump jacks. If two people are operating, then both pump jacks may be engaged for raising at the same time. Always keep the work surface level and secure the jack by placing the stirrup in the up position. Passing a brace is accomplished by first securing an extra brace approximately four feet above the one to be passed until the brace is reinstalled. After installing the temporary brace, loosen the wing nut and allow the brace to be passed to swing clear of the pole. Do not remove from the wall. 
after the brace has been passed, reconnect it to the pole and remove the extra brace. To lower the pump jack system, face the pole and raise the stirrup to the up position. Ensure that the crank handle is in the lock position. Holding onto the pole, place one foot on the pedal of the lower brake. Press down and hold open. Take hold of the crank handle, pulling the arm out to the right, and begin turning the handle until the plank begins to lower. Continue lowering the plank for approximately one foot. Secure the pump jack by turning the handle and the handle is no longer under spring tension. Release the brake pedal to re-engage the lower safety lock. Repeat this procedure with the other pump jacks until the plank reaches the desired height. If two people are operating, then both pump jacks may be engaged for lowering at the same time. Remember to always keep the work surface level. Additional safety guidelines. Inspect the equipment before each use and the aluminum pole for straightness. Access to the standing plank above ground level may be via an extension ladder. Do not install standing plank more than 14 inches from the wall. There should be no opening greater than 14 inches anywhere surrounding the working persons. Do not stand on the working plank on top of the workbench. Secure all materials, tools, etc. to the plank on the workbench. The attached chains on the pump jack and workbench must be used on planks at all heights. Always cordon off the space below the working area. Do not exceed maximum allowable load of 500 pounds. This consists of two men or 400 pounds and 100 pounds for box of siding and tools. Do not work when weather threatens safety. Apply two to three drops of three-in-one oil or equivalent at least once a month to bushings on the crank assembly of the pump jack. This should be applied more often during frequent use. Follow all instructions on each individual component. Follow all local and other government regulations. 